Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Ben, and welcome to another Godot tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to teach you about editor scripts. I have a project opened up here, and I've got a little bit of setup, but we'll talk about the setup here in just a minute. First, let's create a new script. I'm going to do a new script here. I'm going to turn off template because um, I don't want to use a template. And I'm going to have it inherit editor script. And I'm going to call the new script, just call it test. Well, we'll call it tutorial. Tutorial. There we go. Create. Okay. Let's open up this script and we can see that it extends editor script. So what is an editor script? An editor script is a script that can be run inside of the editor. Now you might be like, well, Ben, that just sounds like a tool. What's different? Well, a tool script is run inside of the editor. That's true. You're right. But an editor script is run inside the editor when you either use a hotkey or press a specific button and it has a single function that runs when you do those things. So if we left click or if we hold control and left click on editor script here, we can learn about them in the documentation. And you can see it has to be a tool, has to extend editor script, and it has to have this run function. And this is what will be um, run inside of the editor, this function right here. So let's open up our script. Let's make sure we extend tool, or not extend. Let's make sure we make it a tool that it extends editor script and we give it this underscore run function. Now inside of this function, we can do whatever we want. We're going to, for now, we're just going to print hello. No, there's no W in hello. There we go. Now, how do we get it to run? Obviously, in our output, we're not seeing anything here. Well, if we come to file in our scripts, this is the file above our script. And then you see this run option right here. We can click that and it runs this script, the currently selected editor script. And it just says hello. Or we can press control shift X and I can just do that over and over and it will keep running this script. Okay, so big deal. We can run, we can say hello in the editor. What's so special about that? Well, let's look at a single use case. There's a lot of potential use cases for this, but let's go back to that project setup that I talked about earlier. So I have a world node here. I have a little sprite, just this pixel art ninja sprite. If we zoom in on it, you can see that it's all blurry. And if we run the game, we can see that the project settings aren't set up for pixel art, so it's not being displayed correctly. Now we could go into our project settings and manually set up all of the project settings required for a pixel art game, setting the window size and setting filtering to uh, nearest rather than linear to get some crisp pixel art. But if we were to go make another pixel art game, we would have to do that all over again. But our editor script can come in and rescue us right here. I'm going to just paste over some code here real quick. And uh, I'm going to replace the, the print that we had. Here we're just setting some different properties of our project settings, and then we're saving the project settings. So you can see we're setting the viewport width, the height, the width override, the height override. We're setting the stretch mode to canvas and the texture filter to nearest. These are all properties that you would set up inside of your project settings when run making a pixel art game. So now I can save and do control shift X. And if we come back into our project here, we have nice crisp pixel art. And if we run the game, it's all scaled appropriately. And you could copy this editor script to each new pixel art project you started and just run that quick hotkey and you wouldn't have to set up the project settings every single time. So there's a single use case for editor scripts. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you hadn't heard about editor scripts before you learned something new, if you did, be sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. Give a comment down below if you have any questions. And if you're interested in more of my Godot content, I have a Godot course bundle that is for sale on my site. There'll be a link in the description for that. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video.